If you're anxious right now, you know that doesn't feel good. It's not fun. It's not fun waiting on your phone like, has he texted me yet? Has he texted me yet? He hasn't texted me in 5.3 hours. Usually it only takes him 4.2. I know the struggle. God damn, it feels so good to be secure. I want that for you and I know it's possible. You will get there. I think you promise. I don't break pinky promises. I am going to be teaching you how to heal fully your attachment style and by the end of this video you will be completely changed so you can start attracting lasting loving relationships feel happier and finally become secure these tips are life changing how do i know this because i changed my life from only attracting avoidant attachment style men with commitment issues to now only attracting high quality, high value, masculine men that give me the princess treatment, the love and appreciation I want, I need, I desire. Number one, patterns. Awareness is in fact 90% of the work. So becoming aware of your patterns is the biggest step. Write out what patterns you have noticed in yourself and the relationships you attract. What is the common denominator when dating slash in relationships? Even just in the talking stages. What comes up for you? Listen up, I know society's saying like, all men are toxic, all women are hoes, all men are feminine. In the law of vibration, in the law of attraction, that is just what you're attracting. You could easily, vibrationally speaking, attract high quality, secure men, but you're not. So you can't blame it on society. Mm -mm -mm. That's not what we do on this channel. No sir, not me. We're not victim mindsets over here. So in these relationships, these talking stages, what comes up for you? How do you feel? As an anxiously attached person, this could look like at any point this person's gonna ghost you or abandon you if you have sort of prevalent abandonment issues. Or maybe you tend to get scared and push them away out of fear of abandonment. Then notice what kind of partners you are attracting. Maybe you attract partners that don't make you feel seen, that aren't ready to commit, or aren't emotionally available. Make a note of this. This is very important. As an exercise, what feelings and emotions do I recognize come up for me while dating that negatively impact the relationship or how I show up in it? Two, what kind of partners do I currently attract? What other common themes? So slipping into the next point, the red flags you ignore in the beginning are always the reason you end things. I must say it again. The red flags you ignore in the beginning are always, if not 99% of the time, the reason you end things. That quote really did change my life and my dating experience. I just squinted my eyes at the red flags until they sort of went pink. I put them on a pedestal and I thought, oh damn, like, maybe they'll change. I see their soul. I see their potential. Maybe they've got trauma. Maybe they've got some sort of issue they need to resolve. I know I've healed myself from that. Maybe they're going to do it as well. As a red flag. And not in the way that social media portrays red flags, like tying a shoelace the wrong way. Like, that's not a red flag. Red flags that I'm talking about is the things you feel intuitively, this is wrong but I'm gonna look over it in case they change. Newsflash, they ain't changing. Have they even said they wanna change? Have you even said, can you change? You haven't said, they haven't said, they're not gonna magically come to the conclusion on their own. I'm afraid to say it. And even if they did, that's not good enough. I need some action, I need some proof. I'll give you some examples. If a guy isn't telling you much about himself, his life, his emotions. You may think, oh, maybe he's just like shy to open up. Maybe I need to give him more space. Maybe I need to behave this way. Maybe I need to tiptoe around. Nope, that man is emotionally unavailable. Of course, you are the only one that knows your situation, used to some, but I ain't seen it any other way. This is why it's so important to write down your common patterns. So then you can be clear of the red flags when they come up, so they're not pink. You see them red, they're bright red like a freaking bull, okay? The future wishing mindsets will keep you stuck in this pattern. 
You need to stop thinking, maybe what if, maybe if I wait around. You'll be waiting a long time. There is an abundance of high quality men out there and I know you think he's your soulmate and your twin flame and the love of your life, but that is actually your attachment style being fired up. That is why you feel that way about them. When you've healed your attachment style, this extreme attraction to someone that is not reciprocating and is not giving you the love and attention you desire will not be fired up. When you really look at it, it's not love, it's not a twin flame, it's not a soulmate. That is your attachment style being triggered from childhood. We all know, if you haven't read the book, read the book. Your attachment style comes from childhood and the relations you have with your parents. Say they did not give you love and attention, say they abandoned you, say they didn't give you emotional attention, and then the guy you're dating is not giving you emotional attention, he's very hot and cold, he's sort of abandoning you, then coming back. That is reflecting your childhood wound and where your attachment style come from with your relationship to your parents, so it is familiar. Your body's like, oh, I know this. This is what love is. Because that's what you've experienced before. It ain't what love is and it ain't the love that you're gonna have, okay? We're just gonna carry on with the points and reprogram yourself to attract the most beautiful loving partner. Number three, your future partner. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna be telling you a secret. Don't tell anyone. If you do, quote me. <laughs> that secret is, the ideal partner you want, they are emotionally expressive, right? They show love to you abundantly. They are not afraid of showcasing their love to you in case you reject them or in case you think they're showing too much love to you and that's too much for you. They aren't afraid to show love to you because they're secure in themselves. See where I'm going with this? Yes, in fact. You need to become that person. I know you've probably heard it before, but what does that actually mean to become that type of person to attract it? If it were that easy, you'd have a ring on your finger right now. Am I right? But don't worry guys, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that. All your partners you've ever had and are attracting are a mirror. Your partners are a vibrational match to you, who you are, who you are being. Everything in your life is a vibrational match to you. Your house, your job, your friends, your level of income. So in order to be a wealthy person, you need to change your identity to that of a wealthy person. You need to believe that I am worthy of being wealthy. Same goes for being an attractive person. I've got a video on how to manifest physical appearance change. If you don't believe me, the internal reflects onto the external. So in order to be a securely attached person, you need to be calm. This is essentially manifesting your next level self. So how would you act? How would you think? What would you do as a securely attached person? When you act like that person, you do things that person would do, you will then inevitably become that person. This is the exercise you need to do. What kind of partners do you want to attract? So write out all the qualities that you want your future partner to have, whether it's expressing their love to me without fear, complimenting me, wanting to see me in real life, and not just texting me for prolonged periods of time. We don't do talking stages anymore. No more talking stages. And then the next question is, who do I need to become in order to be a match for that person that I desire? Because if you're a little bit scared to meet up with them and you're okay with doing a talking stage, you're okay, you engage in it, it's fun, it's light, then you're gonna attract people that only want to do talking stages. If you get fed up very quickly in a talking stage and like, why isn't he asking me on a date yet? Then you're gonna stop putting up with that behavior and you're gonna stop attracting it because you're gonna see the warning signs early on. The law of detachment. This is the golden key. The secret, the freaking catalyst of becoming truly secure. This ain't no easy one though, baby. You will need to practice this, but it is so, so, so worth it. Once the law of detachment finally clicks for you, it is sort of like a euphoria moment, like, ah, oh, 
I get it now. If you do want to dive deeper on the law of detachment, I recommend reading Letting Go by Dr. David Hawkins. To summarize this briefly, you need to be okay with not having. Picture this, you see a cute guy, you start talking to him, you start to like him. Then the fear of abandonment kicks in. Is he being off with me? Why is he taking so long to reply? Did I do something wrong? Did I say the wrong thing? What if I say the wrong thing? Am I not pretty enough? Am I not interesting enough? Am I not enough? When really, it may not have anything to do with you. He may not be even doing anything. You are overthinking it. This is a limiting belief and a subconscious pattern. So here is how you learn to detach from him and that situation. One, notice the limiting beliefs or the thoughts. Two, observe them as neutral. Everything is neutral until we give it meaning. It's not a bad thought. It's not a good thought. It's just a thought. Take away the emotion that thought and limiting belief has. Take away the emotion from, did I do something wrong? Just notice the thought. Now you put it in a neutral perspective, you can change that thought to a new and empowering belief. For example, you think, oh, why is he not text me fast enough? Maybe he doesn't like me. Maybe I'm not beautiful enough. You think, it's something to do with him. It's not that I'm not good enough. It's not that I'm not beautiful enough. It's not me. It's got to be something to do with him. Unlearning these old habits can take time, but with conscious awareness and continuous practice, by challenging these thoughts, feelings and emotions, then replacing them with new and empowering ones, you are reprogramming your mind. This guy that you like, yeah, he's cute, yeah, he's smart, he's funny, he ticks a lot of your boxes, but there are millions and millions of guys that tick a lot of your boxes. And some of those guys make you feel safe as well. Tapping into that feeling of how that guy makes you feel is the most important part. Does he make you feel safe? Does he make you feel loved? Those are the important ones. Often people that don't make us feel safe are activating our nervous system and attachment style, causing you to spiral into these negative thoughts. Hey, that ugly simp that has a crush on you, are you wondering why he hasn't texted you back? Are you wondering if he doesn't think you're good enough? No, because he's making you feel emotionally safe. This is why you feel more emotionally heightened and emotionally anxious rather than this avoiding attachment style guy. So instead of thinking it's you, maybe it's them activating your anxious attachment style. Because a secure man will make you feel safe. A secure man will be calling you, he'll be texting you, he'll be pursuing you energetically and you can feel that. Those pursuing qualities is what you need to look out for as green flags. And the more you heal your attachment style, the more you practice this, the easier it will become. And the more put off you will be by those avoidant attachment style behaviors as not good for you, rather than I'm not good enough for them. The law of attachment simply means you are okay with not having. You would like, but if no, you are okay. If he no good, then another one, a better one. Simples. Universe has your back. I want you to know all these past relationships were not bad, were not regrettable, but was simply upgrading you with the lessons you needed to learn to align you with your perfect person. Because if you're like me, you desire a fulfilling relationship. You don't want to settle for an ordinary toxic relationship, as a lot of people do. By you working on yourself, by you watching this video, you are going to attract a loving relationship that fulfills you in every aspect. To take this to the next level, if you would like to manifest physical appearance change, I do recommend watching this video. Not only can you feel more confident internally, but also externally, you can be the sexiest version of yourself. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and gained some value from it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.